Hello, my name is Eric Gregori from EMG Robotics, and in this video we're going to talk about the Audio Dual Servo Controller Board. Using this small board, it's only 1 inches by 1 inch by 0.6 inches, uh, you can control two RC servos from the headphone jack of your iPhone, Android smartphone, iPad, or Android tablet. The controller board the servo controller board only uses one audio channel, so you can actually connect two servo controller boards to your Android or iPhone device and control up to four servos from the device. The servo controller board is controlled via audio tones. Uh, as I stated earlier, you only need one audio channel, either left or right, to control two servos. So in total, you can have four servos with your standard stereo headphone jack. The audio tones used to control the servos can be generated by any application that runs on the device. Pictured is RFO Basic. This is a full basic interpreter, a free basic interpreter, that you can run on your Android device that will generate the tones required to control the servos. Using, this, using RFO Basic, you have full access to all the sensors, on your Android phone and so you can easily make <coughs> a device for instance that uses the magnetic sensor to detect magnetic north and control a servo to aim towards magnetic north or things of that nature. In addition EMG Robotics has a computer vision based application used to control the servo controller and this application includes uh, the ability to track faces, color blobs, or color balls. In addition, this application has a uh, mode called Direct Control, which lets you control the servos directly using sliders right on the screen or buttons right on the screen. So this is really good if you want to you know, test out your device or whatever. Two parallax continuous rotation servers, servos. I'm going to select differential mode. There's no um, there's no rubber on the wheels. That's why it's sliding. So using the Android software, you can control two continuous motion servos for a differential robot.
So in relative mode, the servos are controlled uh, relatively. So you can send a signal, the servo turns, send a signal, the tur servo turns the other way, and you can control the speed. Oops, I'm controlling the wrong servo. here I connected the wrong servo so here I'm connecting here and that's what's called relative mode Okay, object tracking using the EMG Robotics uh, Android application, uh, Robot Controller Android application, and the Audio Dual Servo Motor or Servo Controller Board. So in this case, we're going to select face, face tracking. And once we select face tracking, a nice little um, configuration uh, menu pops up, and this lets you select various parameters for the face tracker. And then it's going to ask which board are we trying to control, and it gives us a nice little picture. We're going to select the servo controller board, and then it's going to ask us which mode we want to run the servo controller board in. And in this case, we're going to call it, we're going to say relative mode, and it actually shows that the jumper should be on the left. So, and then it's going to ask us about tracking configuration. So, how fast should it track? The hysteresis for tracking, and whether or not it should track, try, uh, attempt to track off screen. So, we say done. And this is face tracking, so it's going to pop up. You can see it. There's two green lines representing the hysteresis window, and there's a red line in the middle representing center. So, now we're going to turn it around. Now, I have not turned on the servo controller yet. Notice that my jumper is on the left. And now we're going to go ahead and turn on the servo controller. So what it's doing here is it's tracking my face. I don't know if, hopefully you can see this. camera's rotating in order to track my face. Now let's see, I'm going to try to put this on my chin so you can see it from my perspective. I can't block my face, obviously. So you can see the camera is rotating. Okay, so I have a video of the camera rotating. You can see my face here. So let's see if we can get it. It's tracking really well. <clears throat> okay, to select to track a color blob. We're going to go ahead and select color blob tracking. And again, we're going to select which board using the servo controller. And we're going to use relative mode again. 
and we'll leave those settings the same. Now, in order to pick a color, um, which what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, the color, the object in front of the camera, in front of the phone, and I'm going to select that object by just touching it. So, so now it's tracking Pikachu.